It's April and it's tax time. Yes, you know on April 15th, you need to file income tax returns and tax payments. But if you own a home, you also have a property tax due earlier this month. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a real example of property tax bill from San Jose, Santa Clara County, California. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ava with Intello, a local realtor here in San Jose, California. I'm going to show you what's included in the tax bill and the payment options you have. The tax year of 2021 to 2022 runs from July 1st, 2021 to June 30th, 2022, and you pay in two installments. The first installment was due by November 1st, 2021, and it became delinquent after December 10th, 2021. The second installment was due by February 1st, 2022, and it will become delinquent after April 10th, 2022. So basically, you have to on the delinquent date to pay the bills. If you pay after the delinquent date, there is a 10% fine and a $20 fee. This is a hefty fine given how expensive the houses are here in the Bay Area. In the summary section, you see the total due of $14,000 for the whole year and you pay it in two installments. How was the $14,000 calculated? On page 2, you can see the calculation breakdown. California property tax bill includes a variety of different taxes and charges, including a 1% tax rate published by Proposition 13 passed in 1978. Additional tax rates to pay for local debts approved by voters. People are often asking, is there a fixed property tax rate here? The answer is yes and no. Let me explain this to you. Yes, as we mentioned earlier, at the state level, the annual property tax is capped at a maximum of 1% of your property value. Typically, your purchase price became your property value base and minus a standard $7,000 exemption per household if this is your primary residence. The net assessed value is at $1.139 million. So 1% of that, you have $11,000 property tax payable. That marks the biggest component of the tax bill. On top of that 1% here in San Jose, we also have some local and county level taxes at a much smaller rate. Those additional taxes are approved by the city taxpayers in the annual November elections. Those property tax revenues are designated to fund schools, affordable housing, and retirement funds for public employees, etc. The rate adjusts annually so that it raises the amount of money needed to pay the projects. That was what I meant, no fixed rate earlier. Based on the above mentioned tax types and the rates, we have a total tax due of $13,361. And on the summary section, you will also see a line for special assessments. It was $1,406. The parcel tax and the special assessments are levied by local governments in order to fund improvements that benefit real property. So uh, it covers expenses like your weekly garbage services provided by City of San Jose. Your tax bill pays for that. That amount is also calculated and adjusted annually. So now we know what we are paying. And let's talk about how we can pay it. You can pay online with, with no fees if you use your debit cards from your checking or saving account also deliver your payment in person. If you want to send a check by mail, the payment must be received or postmarked by the delinquency date of April 10th. Unknown to some homeowners, there is also an option for credit card payments. If you are tight on cash, you can use your credit card to pay. There is a service fee equal to 2.29% of your tax amount. In this case, that will be an additional of $169. Not too bad. If you have not paid your property tax, please do so before April 10th to avoid the 10% penalty. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. See you next Wednesday.